Hey guys, welcome in this video. Today we're going to talk about how to become a professional racing driver. So obviously it is, I hate to say, very costly from day one. There is no secret model racing. It's fuel, it's tire, it's engine, it's equipment. It costs money too much to my taste. And I'm trying to find a way around that through eSports and sim racing. I'll explain to you that a in a little bit. But yes, yeah, so karting, then you're going to go Formula 4, Formula 3, Formula 2, Formula 1. And even so, when you win Formula 2, you're not necessarily sure of making it to Formula 1. There's only 20 seats and drivers last for a very long time i did so i'm not gonna complain you know for 10 years i was using one of those 20 seats and obviously that's a long time if we look at verstappen or look like they're super young and they're on, they're on norris and on so on russell they're here for a very long time so that means that there are seats that are taken for for that period of time but yeah starting it's it's about never giving up believing your dream having fun go and knock on every door every door you can at the beginning parents friends try to find small sponsor here and there go racing try to find scholarship if you can can. That's more in the US, but I'm going to touch base on that later. I was lucky to have a dad that could afford karting initially and Formula 1 1.6 liters and Formula 1 2 liters. And then eventually I joined the Renault Driver Development that uh, financed the rest of my career and put me in Formula 1 in 2009. At the beginning, you need to make your proof, but as soon as you can, and as soon as you get to top level, it's, it's try to go and knock on everyone's door. Mercedes, Red Bull, Ferrari, all of them really. Just um, try as much as you can. Get into uh, one of those driver academy. That's your best chance to to go to the top right it's hard there's a lot of drivers that there's only 20 seats in formula one at the end but there's not only formula one you know i think in the us you've got the road to indy which is us f2000 indy pro indy light indy car there's a cool system in the us is that when you win a championship you've got a scholarship to go to the year the, the next championship it's not money that you get directly but it's money that is paid by the organization to a team to make you drive the year after so if we take the example example of kyle kirkwood very talented young driver american had to win every single championship to have a chance to make it to the next level he made it to indy car this year he's, he's done really well the scholarship helped a bit but also his results in the past were so good that he made it to indycar so it's possible it's hard one thing that we tend to forget sometimes is the fun of it right if we do it uh at first, it's because we're passionate about it. We're having fun. We love it. And when you become a professional driver, it's very easy to forget that. But yeah, keep the fun. Esports. I'm sitting on my simulator here at home. I'm trying to push as hard as I can that we find new talent through esports. The sim racing is getting better and better, more and more realistic. I've got a couple of drivers in my in my esports team, IG Esports, that I actually know going into real racing and that's super talented, right? We could see them from the data, we could analyze what they were doing in the simulator, and we can we could like know who was going to be good or not. That is very impressive. So yeah, through esports, I'm trying to find good drivers. Nissan did that in the past. We've gone Turismo. Red Bull did it, I believe. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to build stuff that maybe we can create something with a esports championship. And if you win it, then you have a chance in go kart or Formula Four, something like that. Obviously, we need to find partners to do that. I can't afford to do it on my on my own. But one of the reason I've got IG Esports is to try to give young guys the chance to live their passion. Is it from sim racing? Is it gonna be from from sim racing to real racing i believe there is there's a way to do it praga the car brand is doing it really well in the uk they've brought jimmy broadband and a few more influencers they have actually one of my driver goldie much is one of my esports driver and he do, is doing super well in the praga R cup r1 cup sorry so it's possible that it works right we just need to find the right person that that believe the same as i do i hope it's gonna happen it's growing as i say simulator are getting more and more professional more and more realistic and i love that and i think that that could be a way to do it but again don't wait that someone comes and knock on your door go and knock on everyone's door try hard always all the time throughout all your career you know don't expect anyone to come and see you go and see people that is something i didn't do quite right early in my career i learn but definitely yes there's, there's ways that you can do it you can you can get there yeah really hoping that uh, if you're passionate about it if you're talented about in in racing i really hope that you can make it and that will make me happy as always guys if you have any camp comments suggestions ideas make sure to write a comment make sure that you subscribe you like and i'll see you very soon for more